Hey, hey, mailbag 25-ish. And it's only been about seven months since I did my last video. Uh, I took the summer off and a bit. Uh, this is going to be a mix mash of stuff. Um, some fluff, some fluff, and some electronics. If I remember what everything's supposed to be. Also, um, dates I'm not going to really have on this one since I was way too lazy. So, start with these. And, as I said, these are fluff. I'll start with this. These are just a couple um, <laughs> decals I picked up. I kind of figure that one uh, explains itself uh, as we go to the fuel pumps and pay a ridiculous amount of fuel for the fuel. And that there cost, I'll put the price up there, but uh, 280 with um, said free shipping, but it worked out to be 325 from Amazon. And the next one, along the same kind of lines for some decals I wanted to pick up. Okay, bit out of shape on this. Eh, close enough. So when you're driving behind me and wondering why I am actually doing the speed limit, taking life easy, slow down, save the wildlife, don't run them over. And that's for all the ones that got their nose up my tailpipe going, go faster, go faster. And to the next. Oops. And this one here is for Halloween. This is what I think it is. It should be. One. Okay. Okay, let's try opening this one again. I opened it and of course put all the labels face up and that was not a good idea. So I'll do this again. And these two here should be light bulbs. And hopefully they didn't get crushed too much. So far, so good. Okay, there's one. Okay, that didn't go too far. And there's two. And then I got to find somewhere to plug these in. I'll plug them in outside and I'll add the video uh, to the end here, or not to the end, next. So these are the 3D light bulbs that have a neat uh, pattern inside. And I'll just turn off a few of the lights. I'm not sure how this is going to come out on these, but basically I picked these up to uh, stick outside for Halloween. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. It'll be interesting to see how this actually views with the uh, color. What I'm seeing, just straight looking at it, is much more uh, pink uh, than bright white. Uh, I'm not sure how the exposure would work on these. Um, and I'll be put. I'll put the price 
up there or there, wherever. Uh, but I got these for Halloween. That's why I'm trying to get this video done real quick because Halloween's less than a week away. Yeah, that's a bit closer to what I see, except it's a bit more pink than that. So that'd be outside. The next two items. Not even sure on this one. Oh, okay. Um... You've got to have seen these already on other uh, channels. It's that UV, UVC test card. Uh, let me just grab a light and we'll see what uh, shows up. So I have here a couple um, black lights, which put out UVA. And if I put this thing up to it and get it to focus on it, hopefully... This one, the little light showing UV, which is just UVA. My bigger black light definitely lights up the UVA quite nicely. And this uh, light here I picked up for a staggering $10.69 at um, our local thrift store. So... Both of those lights only showed the UVA. Now, I'm going to set up the other light. Now, the other light I know is a UVC uh, light, which means I'm not going to want to expose myself too much to it. Come on. Focus. There you go. It's lighting up quite nicely. And since I don't want an extensive sunburn on my hand, that's good enough. <laughs> and of course, in just normal light, there's nothing. But uh, that light there, and I am not looking at this right now, now that would be exceptionally foolish. I'm just pointing it over the edge of the table. And that would be good for um, sterilizing stuff. And the next one to try is one of these old black lights. 75 watts. So, turn her on. It lights up a tiny bit. See if I can get this thing to focus on there. There we go. Tiny bit. Nothing in the other band. And this one here is actually a proper UVC light. It's not a toy. Uh, you do not want to be looking at this uh, because it will screw up your eyes. And it'll give you a good sunburn to boot. And almost forgot my uh, UVA light that I built a while back. A whole bunch of LEDs. Inside there's a little power bank. And lights it up quite nicely. And the next package is... You get... Oh yes, a cable tester. I saw this on another channel. If I can remember who it was, I'll stick it over there. If I can't, then I won't. And let me go grab some cables. So, let's try it out on a few cables. You put power in here, and this is a C-type. Then, I'll try this... Uh, blinky type of uh, cable one and that's a micro there and it is showing 
uh, power. So basically it is just good for charging a phone or whatever. Then here's another one. Now, sadly, I chopped up one of these and I chopped up the wrong one. Ditto, just for charging. Here's one for the camera. And that's to a C. And everything lights up. So it says something in Chinese that I can't read, uh, but essentially this is good for uh, data. So if everything light or this one lights up, then it must be good for data. And what do we have here? Seems to latch on though. Let's turn this thing off. Oops. Come on. And this one here is another C. So this cable is good for everything. Okay. Turned off this time. That's kind of cute. Let's try that again. Okay, really consistent, eh? Hmm. But that's the purpose of this is just to test cables and uh, see which ones actually have the data lines connected. And this is probably just another, yeah, just another uh, charge cable. Now, what's this red one? Take that, hook this up, attach power. This red one is gonna be. Hopefully, I didn't spend much money if it doesn't turn green. And oh, good, huh. money well spent. So, this one's also good for data. I don't know what speed, though. So, cute little device. Um, these bags are going to have to wait for the next uh, mail bag. Uh, I want to get this one out. And I need more practice.